Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Kitchen Goat. Happy Mother's Day. Let's do something really super simple in the kitchen. So you all know it's farm uh, market season and we stopped down and hung out with uh, Sunburst Tomatoes here. Check that out. Now, what am I going to do with that? Well, I'm going to make a couple of BLTs, but I'm going to show you a really awesome, easy, like million dollar meal that, I mean, seriously, the ingredient, it's disgusting. So, and I don't mean disgusting in a bad way. I mean, it's just stupid easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to grease a pie pan. You can either make a crust or be lazy like me. And, uh, you know, do I make pie crusts? Absolutely. Uh, do I feel like it today? No. So let's keep it super simple. And this is something you could bake for mom. I mean, it, you know, everybody's into this brunch and lunch and all this stuff. This, this is a great brunch thing. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to not rip this thing apart like I'm doing it, but we're going to pre-bake the, uh, pie crust and I'll be right back. No. All right, folks, while we're pre-baking our pie crust, I'm going to make the filler, which this is stupid easy. So I've got some uh, chives and basil out of my garden. We'll, we'll do a show on that. Got some feta cheese. We're going to put that in there. Um, I buy the big, you know, chunk of it and food save it and whatever. And uh, I'm going to add some, this is like, my mom would love this it, because it's like a cheese lover's uh, meal. I mean, and what you do, you shred the cheese yourself. That way it doesn't, um, or it melts correctly. So we're going to add a little bit of cheddar. I added some to the floor. It'll go to the dogs later. Why not? And then, <coughs> since we are in the South, Duke's mayonnaise. Now, how much do I do? Man, this stuff still... I gotta get one that fits. I'll be right back. Here we go. This is a well guy. So, we'll do about a half cup of mayonnaise. I'm going to guesstimate it. Could be more. I don't really care. Um, Alright, so, about a half cup of the crazy stuff. And... We're going to add a mixer and we're going to mix it up. And this goes on top of the tomatoes. It's kind of weird, but it works. So this is basically pimento cheese without the pimentos if you think about it. And there we are. And when I get this thing baked up, we'll get it baked up and rolling. So we'll be right back. Alright, so we've partially baked the pie crust. I'm going to take some of our thick cut sunburst tomatoes. 
which you can get at either the Rocky Mount Farmer's Market or the Nashville Farmer's Market. Um, you know, before anybody flips out, it's pretty much the same crowd. So, you know, nobody's being an elitist here. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to cut this up so I can coat the, uh, huh? So I can coat the, It's like a puzzle. So anyway, we've got this. By the way, thanks for buying these aprons. We raised over 525 bucks so far to buy gift cards for local cancer patients in need here in Eastern North Carolina. Go buy, uh, go check out my Facebook page and order some. Pepper. Little salt. Little basil and, and chives and a little bit of rosemary there. We'll just dump it in there. And that's out of my garden and we'll we'll do a garden show soon. Basically, our non pimento pimento cheese. And don't worry for all my true southern fans here in North Carolina. I use Duke's mayonnaise. So, I was so mad, you know, my. My mom came down to visit, and I'm like, here, here's some Duke's mayonnaise. Oh, don't worry, Jason, we can get that at Sam's Club now. I was like, doggone it. But she got a big uh, light-up flamingo, so she'll be pretty happy. All right, we all know this is one of these lovely kitchen goat videos. And so the recipe does not call for this, but I figured we need to be as neutral as we can nowadays with everything. So I got some Swiss cheese. I know, bad history teacher joke, but uh, so we're going to put a little Swiss cheese on top here. And you know what? Look how easy this is. And you can make this and you can make this for brunch, lunch, whatever. Mom will be happy and we're going to put this in the oven for another 30 minutes until it's golden brown. We'll be right back. All right, folks, so I let this thing sit for about an hour in the fridge. Um, Mom, I tried, and I'm sure it, it's going to be wonderful, but it, it is a little runny. But I'm sure it's going to taste fantabulous. very good. What I would do the next time is use a little bit less tomato, but they taste so good. 
Check out your local farmer's market. And if you're in Nash County, check out Sunburst Tomatoes. Remember, be kind, be excellent to each other, and have a great day. I'll see you soon.